Good morning from Fullet B Top, another of one of my walks revisited. We're back in the Lincolnshire Wolds and we're going to do eight miles on another cracking walk in the Wolds. Haven't been down here for about three years. So let's uh, revisit it and see what it looks like. don't know if the camera is picking up the sound of the skylarks. Stop to have a look at these wild flowers. This is a view of my trail. Gorgeous morning, about 8 o'clock in the morning. Lovely and cool refreshing with some great views to match I'm loving these wild flowers next to the trail the birds enjoy them too Last time I was on this trail, it's part of the Lindsay Loop. I think it was part seven. And certainly in the morning, it absolutely teamed it down all morning. And it was like a river walking on this section. I haven't been on this trail for about three years, as I said. You tend to forget how good it really is. Beautiful. Last time I crossed this bridge, it was totally flooded. And we had to use the middle rail to stand up on and get over the flood. We've been going downhill since we left the car. First bit of uphill to come. Looking back to where we started, you might make out some radio masts in the distance, that's full at B, where this walk started. And we head in this way towards Belchford. One last look at the cereal as they'll be combined in the next week or two. Everybody shows pictures of rocks and hills, but you can't eat them. These cereals, they'll be in your bowl before too long. Just stopped for my first coffee at the poachers hideaway you have holiday chalets and last time I was here there was a camping ground just to show you these views if you was to stay at the chalets you would have these views to enjoy Yeah, they've still got the camping ground past Poacher's Hideaway. 
And these are the views about 100 yards past there. Looking down on the village of Scandalsby. If you wanted to make this a six mile circular instead of the eight, there's a permissive path down there that takes you back to the Viking Way, misses out Scandalsby. But we're going to carry on to do the eight because we like the punishment. Turning out to be another cracking day. Fields of gold. Even though the footpaths aren't getting cut as regular as they used to be, and I've got wet trousers right up to my knees, give some much needed food to the insects, the bees and the birds. So I guess it's one positive. We have left Scandalsby, back on the Viking Way, heading to Belchford. Quite a few butterflies, I don't know if the camera's picking them up. Just going to show you the views from the top of Park Hill. 139 metres above sea level. Magnificent. Cheers. Just enjoying the views. Looks like there might be a shower or two in the distance. Or sooner than that, actually. I can feel a spot or two now. What a difference five minutes make some rain coming down over there near Scandalsby if this is what hay meadows used to look like years ago well I'm all for it this is gorgeous as we're heading to Juice Trump Hill that both my daughters find very amusing This is beautiful. One last look of the flower meadow, should I say, not hay meadow, and juice trump hill. Just managed to catch the flowers in bloom before they disappear for another year. Made it back to Belchford, to the Bluebell Inn. Had a drink or two in there before. So three quarters of the way round. You can have a nice pint if you so wish. These are my views as we head to Fullockby. If you park at Fullockby Top, you can make this circular walk as short or as long as you like. You can make a four mile circular, six, eight, or even about 12 if you carry on to Astorby. And there's always the Bluebell pub to call in near to the end. Last night, and I knew I was gonna do this walk, because I've done it so many times in the past, I didn't know whether it would really excite me. 
but as soon as I got out of the car and see them views, them rolling hills I had to go over towards Scandalsby, it lifted my spirits and the rest of the walk hasn't disappointed either. And you catch me next time and I should be out on the Tabula Hills walk. So thanks for watching, liking and subscribing. Bye for now.